Hi everyone and welcome to my place. I've called this design High Summer Whites just because I felt that it would be really lovely. And even though I've said it's high summer, this design is really simple and it will be beautiful in any room, any time of the year or the season. So to begin, I've already shown you how to decoupage the exterior of a vase. I love that decoupage. You can just transform a yucky old vase into something that looks really delicious. And this started off with a gold rim around the top. Don't know why it was just around the top, but it didn't ever work for me. And what's more, they didn't put the gold size and leaf onto it properly, and it all scratched off. And I thought, oh, now what? Ha ha! Decoupage. It's just a napkin, a little bit of time. And if you're sitting watching TV and you need to be investing your time somewhere else you can do it at the same time very very easy so here we have the vase and I love it with the, the white of the paper has given this lovely illusion here as if it's it's frosted oh, it's even better and then with those little wee leaves into there oh it's going to be beautiful when this is finished okay so to begin I'm just going to use a couple of pieces of magnolia green I really love this green because it's the same it connects in beautifully with the hydrangeas and if you're going to use a hydrangea with greens you might as well use the green that goes with the flower to create the magic now I've got two of these double bloomed hydrangeas here and what I love about this is it's almost like you know the beginning of the season when they just come into flower and they're just hardening off I've got some in my garden and I just am so excited to see them in their new home soon so this is sort of like the beginning of the season the white so I've got two of those and what I've done is I have turned these up you know how I feel about cutting once you cut you can never go back and I might want to do something else with these so I've got two of those and I'm just going to bring those down and into there. Oh, look at that. Now don't worry about getting them perfect perfect because nothing in nature is perfect and you're just going to knock yourselves around fighting with the flowers so just place them have a fiddle at the end. The next to go into here are a couple of pieces of eucalyptus. I'm just in love with eucalyptus and I haven't really used it like when I look back over my years of training I didn't really use this very much and I think it was just because it was like it, it just grew everywhere and it wasn't really that exciting but now that I look at it with fresh eyes when you're using white and you want to just take out the intensity there's nothing quicker and easier than reaching for some eucalyptus the other thing that I like about this eucalyptus is it's got those lovely rounded leaves and when you look into it it's got just a tiniest little bit of that lovely frosting or I used to think it was mold but that it's not it's just the what's on top of the um, leaf the exterior of the top of the leaf so it's a beautiful complement to go into there so I've got a couple of bits of those so I've got three so I'll put one piece over to there I'll bring the other piece over to there and with my third piece I'll just bring this over to the back so just sort of equal distance and some are a little bit higher and some are a bit lower but that doesn't matter and I was going to go into Pythagoras' theorem about this but I think I might just stop it so get on with flowers okay now I love this this is new this is Pittosporum I never really liked this either until I actually looked at it closer so what I love about it is it's one of the uh, foliage that I called a diffusing blending foliage it's got the lovely green and then it's got the white so when you're using whites it sort of harmonizes and connects everything in together so I've got two pieces of that and I'm going to bring that into the middle now you'll see it but you won't see it and that's okay with me so one can go into there the other can go into there and it's sort of helps to give it a little bit of bulk and then I thought what could be nicer than just a few of the beautiful proteas sort of the same family people might say why would you put those with those but I like the texture of it and you know what I need you all to know that if you like it and you want to put it into a container then you just do whatever gives you the joy so there we have a quick and easy design I will have a fiddle with that and make that all look very nice in due course but isn't that just lovely 
quick and easy designing. I tell you, that's what I'm into at the moment because we're all busy and a lot of us have got time on our hands so to fiddle with the flowers is quite good but don't fiddle too much. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. I've enjoyed sharing it with you and I look forward to seeing you all again another day. Bye for now. <music>